students, welcome back. This is Dr. Mercado speaking. We are continuing covering chapter six, which deals with analyzing and journalizing payroll. This is um, accounting 1329, payroll and business tax accounting. By now, all of you should have already read the chapter, okay? And we are applying in chapter six, everything that we have learned in chapters one through five. So we've covered, you know, OASDI, HI, FUDA, SUDA, unemployment taxes. All of this have been covered in prior chapters and now we're putting it together to do our journal entries, okay? So we still have to refer to information from the past chapters that has been covered, okay? So remember to read chapter six before you attempt any of your assignments, then we dive in, okay? We are gonna continue covering, in this particular lecture, we are covering problem 69A, okay? Problem 69A reads as follows. It says, it says the following information pertains to a weekly payroll for Texera Tile Company, okay? A, the total wages earned by employees are 17,210. The state unemployment insurance contribution rate is 3.5%. The entire amount of wages is taxable under FICA, FUTA, and SUTA. Okay, remember FICA includes OASDI and HI, okay? The amount withheld from the employee's wages for federal income taxes is $1,890. For state income tax is $369.40 and for group insurance is $193. Using all of the information provided, we are being asked to journalize the payment of wages and record the payroll taxes for this payroll. Remember, the, uh, journalizing the payment of wages, that is when we actually pay our employees. We withhold money from the employee's paychecks to cover taxes that the employee has to contribute to, okay? So the employee puts a portion of it and then the employer puts their portion, okay? The employer's portion is the payroll taxes. Uh, when we journalize the payment of wages, we withhold um, those taxes from the employee's paycheck. So we figure out how much taxes the employees do, we withhold that money and then we pay the difference to the employees, okay? So we just need to figure out whenever we pay our employees, we have to pay the employees, that is the payment of wages, and then we have to have an extra entry to record the payroll taxes, okay? So let's begin. Okay, we always begin with our wages, okay? It's either wages or wages expense. I like to use the word expense, but I believe in Cengage, they only use the word wages, okay? To me, having the word expense in it makes me understand that these are wages that are paid to my employees. But regardless, wages or wages expense, we start with that figure. That amount is the total wages earned by the employees, okay? That is given to you in letter A, okay? So the wages earned by the employees is 17,210, okay? So that is gonna be my wages expense, okay? This is how much we owe our employees, okay? This is what our employees worked and now we are responsible to pay them. Okay, so we have, we the company have wages expense of 17,210, okay? Now from that wages expense, we have to um, make some deductions. We have to withhold some of that money because the employees are responsible for some taxes, okay? The first taxes that we have to withhold are the FICA taxes for OASDI, okay? And we're putting this money that we are withholding into payable accounts. Remember, this money does not belong to us, to Texera Tower Company, no. This money belongs to different taxing entities. All we're doing is we're withholding it from the employee's paychecks. We're putting them into these temporary accounts, which are our payable accounts. And we put them into separate accounts. That way we know how much taxes was collected for each of the different taxes. Okay. So we put them into these payable accounts. And then when the time comes, we have to submit payment for those taxes. Okay. So the first one we have is we're going to have FICA taxes payable. Okay for OASDI, okay? And I'm gonna run my calculations here on the side, that way you have it for reference, okay? So, so we're gonna go ahead and remember, on letter C, it says that the entire amount, okay? The entire amount of wages is taxable, okay? For FICA, FUTA, and SUTA. So the entire amount is the 17,210. So for my OASDI, I'm going to get my 17,000. And let me go ahead and let me, um, it is Arial 16. Let me go ahead and just format this real quick. That way it matches Arial 16. Okay. So we are getting the wages of 17,000 to 10. And I'm going to multiply it by my OASDI rate of 6.2%. Okay. 
Let me get my magical calculator out and let's see what it does. Okay, so 17,210 times 6.2 percent that gives me 1,067.02. Okay, remember if you see the word payable, that means it's a liability account. The normal balance of a liability account is a credit. So whenever you see the word payable, um, whenever you're putting money into the account, you would credit. Okay. Uh, for a liability account, a credit increases the account, a debit decreases the account. Okay. So the amount is 1067.02. Okay. Next, we're going to have FICA taxes payable. Ah, what did I do? Let me go back. Okay, there we go. So we have FICA taxes payable HI. Okay. So for HI, we're going to get the 17,210. And I'm going to multiply it by 1.45%. That is my HI rate. Okay. So we're going to get 17,210 times 1.45%. Okay. Now look at this number. It's 249.545. It has three digits, we need to round to two digits. Remember, if it's a five or greater, if the third digit is a five or greater, that second digit is gonna be rounded up by one, okay? So because this is a five, then this number is gonna go, it's gonna convert to 249.55. Be very careful on your rounding. This is a very common mistake students do. So look at that third digit. If it's a five or greater, you round that second digit up by one. If it's between a zero and a four, you leave that number, that second digit as is, okay? So in this case, it's gonna be 249.55, okay? The next thing that we have to withhold from our employees are the employees' federal income tax payable, okay? Now this number is given to you in the problem, okay? The federal income tax is given to you right here. Federal income tax, 1890, okay? So that was provided to you. We just copy. There's no calculation needed to be done. So we have the employee's federal income tax. We also have the employee's state income tax, okay? We're putting all of this into payables. The state income tax is 36940. That is also given to you in the problem. Okay, and we have the last item. We have the group um, insurance. Okay, so we have group insurance premiums collected. Okay, okay and that amount is also given in the problem of 193. So those are all of the withholdings that we have so far that we they've provided for us in this problem. Now I can figure out how much cash I'm actually going to pay my employees. Well, how do you do that? Well, you get your actual wages earned, which is 17,210, and you subtract all of your withholdings. Okay? That'll be minus 1067.02 minus 249.55 minus 1890 minus 369.40 minus 193. That gives me 13,441.03, okay? That is the actual cash that's going to be dispersed to the employees either by direct deposit or via check, okay? Remember, we don't pay our employees cash. So either direct deposit or check, that is the actual amount that is going to pay, be paid out to our employees, okay? 13,441.03. Remember, Debits must always equal credit. So what I like to do after I'm done with every entry, I like to make sure that my debits equal my credits, which they do, okay? If they don't, then we have an error somewhere and we need to fix it, okay? Just make sure that your debits always equal your credits, okay? So now this is the entry uh, that deals with journalizing the payment of wages, okay? Now we are going to record the payroll taxes for this payroll. Okay. Now the payroll taxes are the taxes that um, the employer is responsible for. Okay. So we have payroll taxes. Now I don't know the amount of my payroll taxes yet, but I know that my payroll tax expense is going to be debited. I'm going to put that up first. Okay. Now I need to figure out all of the taxes that the employer is responsible for. Okay. 
The first one we have is FICA taxes payable for OASDI. If we recall, for OASDI, the employee gets withheld a certain amount, 6.2%, and the employer matches that 6.2%, okay? So the calculation is the same as the one above. It's 17,210 times 6.2%, okay? So the employee has to pay 1,067.02. ,00 the employer matches it at 1,067.02, okay? The employer also has to pay FICA taxes payable, okay, HI, okay? Same thing for the HI, same calculation as for the employee. The wages times the rate, and that gives me 249.55, okay? Now, another tax that the employer has to pay is your FUTA tax, the federal unemployment tax, okay? We're going to put that under the FUTA taxes payable account, okay? And for that one, we have, remember, always refer to letter C. It says that the entire amount of wages is taxable under FICA, FUTA, and SUTA. So everything, the whole 17,210 is taxable for all three, okay? So we're going to get the full amount of 17,210, and I'm going to multiply it by my FUTA rate of 0.6%, and let's see what that gives us, okay? So 17,210 times 0.6%. And that gives me 103.26, okay? And the employer also has to pay SUDA taxes, okay? Remember, there are some states where the employees are also withheld SUDA taxes, but that would have to be provided in the problem, okay? Because it's just certain states. Most of them do not, but there are a few that the employees are also withheld SUDA taxes, okay? Um, in this example, that is not the case. The only one that's going to pay SUDA taxes is the employer, okay? Now, we're going to get the 17,210, and we're going to multiply it by the SUDA rate provided. Now, if we recall... Um, in letter B, the SUDA rate is 3.5%. That is provided to you in the problem. So we're going to get the 17,210 times the 3.5%. Okay, and let's see what that gives us. 17,210 times 3.5%. That gives me 602.35. Okay. So these are the four taxes that payroll taxes that the employer is responsible to pay. OASDI, HI, FUTA, and SUDA. This is their responsibility, okay? So for the employee, there might be more withholdings that need to happen. Maybe they're contributing to unions. You know, maybe they have other other deductions, other withholdings that they need to uh, pay. Uh, that may change for sure. You have to withhold OASDI, HI, federal income tax, state income tax if it applies. Um, in this case, they had um, group insurance. There might be other deductions um, included. Um, let's say, for example, that uh, wages are garnished. You would have to include that here. Um, child support, anything of that nature, um, you would have to include it. But that's just on a per basis scenario. Okay, so the top section can fluctuate, can be different depending on the different problems. For the payroll taxes, most of the time you would have the OASDI, the HI, the FUTA, and the SUDA. Okay, that's standard payroll taxes. Okay, so now that we've calculated our four taxes, we can add them together to figure out our total payroll taxes. So we add the 106702 plus the 24955 plus the 103. 26 plus the 602.35 that gives me 2022.18 that is the total amount of my payroll taxes that is what I'm going to be debiting my payroll taxes for okay okay so remember when you're done make sure that your debits equal your credits okay that's just common um, you know procedure just to make sure that they are equal and yes they are Okay, we always want to make sure that our debits equal our credits. So the 2022-18 is a sum of all of these four numbers right there. Okay, so this is a very straightforward example of how to record entries for the payment of wages, which is the top part, and then your payroll taxes on the bottom.
okay and remember in Cengage either you, you're gonna see wages expense or just the word wages okay whatever it is that's the what that's what you're gonna be using okay but in most companies or in most organizations they do include the word expense because it is wages expense okay um, here in, in Cengage um, they just go ahead and they use the reference the word wages okay so just be cautious of that depending on what it shows okay but that is it for this particular problem make sure that you read carefully um, all of the information provided that you identify um, the withholdings that need to happen for the employees and then the uh, taxes that need to be paid by the employer okay so um, if you have any questions while you're working your assignments please if you email me make sure or send me a blackboard message please include the problem number that you're working with your uh, if you possible a screenshot of it and your attempted step-by-step -step calculations so I can review and provide guidance okay so um, that is basically it for this um, lecture. Until next time, have a wonderful day.